Recently, as a reporter for InfoWars, I tried to log back into Facebook and it wouldn't let me. It wanted me to identify myself not with my passcode, but by showing me obscure pictures of my friends and family. I had the feeling that it had something to do with testing their face recognition technology, and then I saw this article in the Wall Street Journal. We know governments are quietly using face scanning cameras on street corners and in airports, and they have license plate scanners, but how are they going to get the public to openly accept a surveillance society? Well, Facebook recently teamed up with CBS to promote their new fall drama, Person of Interest, to condition people to opt in to their face recognition program. They know who these people are and what their names are, and they want you to confirm it for them. Sure, the security measure confirms who I am, but it also confirms for them who my friends and family are. So I went out to the street to find out what people had to say about all this. I tried to log on from a different computer that I never used before, oh. and Facebook prompted me to say, look, we want you to go through a series of oh, face yeah, recognition. The, yeah, the questions and like showing you the pictures of your friends and sure, stuff. Sure. Um, yeah, yeah, um, I guess that's just a privacy and like more of a protective measure because I know people's accounts get hacked a lot, so, so maybe they're trying to actually help us out by giving us a little quiz. I think I know what you're talking about where they show you pictures and it's like, oh, is this this person and you're supposed to confirm it? Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I think that's really weird. Um, I know it's used as a tool just to make it easier to tag people, but I've never heard of it being used to get you to like get back into your page. Do you feel comfortable with the fact that Facebook is data mining all your personal and private information, including you know, your friends' and family's activities? I mean, I can't say that that's comfortable, but I think anything that you put up on the internet is up for public scrutiny. I'm not comfortable with that at all. Um, although I, I know I know they're doing it, um, and I wonder exactly what they're doing with all the information. The government agencies realize that it's a good way to you know pick up on things that they don't like or especially illicit activities. You should you know keep your settings on private and you should be careful with what you post on there. It's easier to monitor people on Facebook than it is to tap people's phones I think to a certain degree. Anything you put up on the public sphere I think is essentially public information. Just with the internet in general we are getting more used to like our business being out there and just getting used to I guess our privacy diminishing a little bit. I'm just not gonna be very informative on Facebook anymore. <laughs> Uh, no, untag myself from every post that I've ever been in. Some people are concerned that Facebook it might be used to acclimate the, the public into accepting a surveillance society. Absolutely, I, I definitely think that it, I don't, while it might not be intentionally so, it could be intentionally so, but it's definitely serving as that. I think it is getting us acclimated to a, a surveillance world. That sounds a bit 1984 <laughs> um, and creepy. People are getting really used to sharing all kinds of information, um, putting everything about their entire life online. We're putting a lot of information in a public sphere, and that information is accessible to anyone. I think, I think it's definitely acclimating people. Who knows if that could be used for good to hold us to a higher standard um, or for something else. Uh, it's really about what we do with it. I personally love Facebook and it's just a way for me to keep in contact with my friends who live all over the world. And for anyone to use that for like keeping track of people, I think that's just really creepy actually. I, I don't feel comfortable with that. It's incredible. Internet kill switches, cyber security, the takeover of the web, warrantless wiretapping. This is America 10 years after 9-11 and it has nothing to do with keeping us safe. Zuckerman, the owner of Facebook, insultingly called his own users dumb Fs. But worst of all, once you've posted your photos and your personal data on Facebook, they say they own it forever. You can make your account private, but it's always there. They're using it. Social networks like Twitter, Facebook, and all of it, they have deep government ties. Google was set up with funding from NQTEL a company whose main client is the CIA. As Wayne Madsen reports, the CIA has always used the popular media of the day to push their propaganda. And today we see Facebook expanding their face recognition capabilities. I'm Darren McBreen for InfoWars Nightly News. Alex, back to you.